In this circuit, we have three resistors connected to a battery, and we want to rank the resistors from high to low by energy dissipated during a certain time interval. If we want to rank the energy consumed during a certain amount of time, the energy is the power times time. Since the time is the same, we just have to rank the power. Let's first look at these two resistors. They are in series, so they have the same current. That means that to compare their power, it's convenient to use the P equals to I squared R. Because they have the same current, power will be proportional to R. So the one with a larger resistance consumes more power. That means uh, the power of uh, 300 ohms is higher than the power consumed by 100 ohms. Then let's compare the 200 ohms to this combination. These two... The 200 ohms in this combination, they are in parallel. If they are in parallel, they have the same voltage. If they have the same voltage, then it's convenient to use P equals to V squared over R. Since they have the same voltage, we just have to compare the 1 over R. The one with the larger resistance would consume less power. The 200 ohms compared to this combination, which is 400 ohms. That one has less resistance, which means more power. So the power consumed by the 200 ohms is more than the power consumed by the 100 and the 300 combined. That means this one definitely consumes the most power. So the answer is the power of consumed by 200 is more than the 300 more than the 100. And since the power is proportional to the energy when the time is the same, that means uh, E200 is more than this and that. What if the circuit is like this? We can, of course, uh, do this again. They have the same current. So power equals to I squared R, the power is proportional to R. So the one with the larger resistance consume more power. So we know the power for 300 is more than 100. And then we can compare that to this combination. Since they have the same voltage, we can say this is proportional to 1 over R. So the one with a smaller resistance consumes more power. Then this combination is 400. That means uh, the power consumed by the 100 and 300 combination consumes more power than the 1000. That means now we cannot really tell where to place the 1000. It may be less than this one, it may be in between the two or more. So in a scenario like this, when we cannot use these two combined to determine the ranking, it can be a good idea for us to make up a voltage for the battery say a thousand volts and then do the calculations and figure out the power consumed by each resistor and then rank the numbers.